What technology should Ohio fully develop? Uh, a green technology. I mean, this is. I mean, this is like uncharted territory. This would, uh, if we put the money into it, it would create a huge amount of jobs, and, and of course, be just the right thing to do for the environment. Okay. What is Ohio's biggest issue? Just helping people that need help. I mean, uh, and we're not talking about poor people here. We're talking about people who have full-time jobs, maybe a couple of jobs that don't have health care. People need help. They don't need a handout. They just need assistance to re-career, to, you know, to have affordable health care, to have affordable education, to have affordable housing. They just need help. Mayor Frank Jackson proposed an urban agenda on the City of Cleveland's website. It says, the City of Cleveland is calling for a fix-it-first federal policy for urban infrastructure because Cleveland's infrastructure is aging. It's crucial to the quality of life and economic vitality of the entire region. Reductions in funding have challenged the city's ability to provide assistance. Neighborhoods are facing the largest housing crisis of the last two decades. The economy is weakening. Strengthening urban business districts is essential to the well-being and the future of every city in the country. Without strong neighborhoods, cities will continue to be at a competitive disadvantage and will continue to lose population, business, and industry. Mayor Jackson also proposes increased funding for transportation. This includes new commuter rail and mass transit. He urges the next president to implement policies and invest dollars in urban areas. We went to Ohio State University in Columbus with a student population of over 60,000. Students have registered to vote in record numbers this year, just like they did in 1960 in JFK's election. According to Rock the Vote, more than 80% of youth who get registered end up going to the polls. Three most important issues in Ohio in this election. Um, I think uh, finding more opportunities for education, uh, access to education across the state, equal access, and improvement in the public school system to ensure our future successes. All right, thank you. And what technology should America fully develop? Alternative energies, wind, solar. I'm not an engineer, but I know we need some other sources. What are the three most important issues in Ohio this election? Uh, well, I'd the environment, definitely. Um, I mean, I went to a Thomas Friedman talk a couple days ago, and um, he was talking about hot, flat, and crowded. Uh, it's a really big problem for me, um, seeing all these SUVs out here. And then uh, tuition as an out-of-state student. Um, I mean, E. Gordon, he's talking about making uh, two, two years mandatory for all, all uh, students. And as an out-of-state student, that cost is going to get passed on to me. Uh, and then also, I mean, the war. Um, I'd like to see that wrapped up. I mean, at least uh, move on to Afghanistan if we can. What technology should America fully develop? I don't know. I'm really into uh, sustainable energy. And um, I think while computers are, you know, the, the speed at which they're evolving, it's cool. And there's a lot of things going on in the technology sector. Um, there's a lot of money that's not being put into, you know, um, they say that there's a lot of desert in America, and um, if we put solar fields the size of Rhode Island, we could power the country for you know multiple years. And um, it makes me wonder that everybody who's making cars right now is poised because the switch is coming, and people are talking about the peak oil and how everything is eventually going to run out. I think you know being first and foremost to make that change would be fine for any auto manufacturer, you know, and um, they, that would be a main selling point. And they're going to lose a, a lot of money to begin with having to make that switch. So it seemed like, you know, um, as much, as much, as many cars as we use and as many, you know, houses, um, nuclear is clean, but nobody wants uh, power plants in their backyard. But, you know, the, the eventuality of, um, nuclear energy you know going bad you know where do you put it nobody wants wants to have dumps in their backyard what should ohio do to improve its economy well i think it's uh just reduce tax and like 
like get more jobs for uh, middle class. What three things do you think are most important in this election? Well, first off, the uh, energy crisis needs to be issued. That needs to be pressed more than anything because the oil is outrageous, at, like $100 a barrel. Um, we need to do more energy resource and get rid of coal. I mean, it's polluting the atmosphere and it's uh, just turning everything, it's just making everything worse, you know? So what we need to do is to look at wind energy and possible more solar energy because the sun gives off a lot of rays. And if we can harness that power, it would be more useful for all of us and healthier. In the late 19th century, Cincinnati was a river port town. Now, it's home to a number of Fortune 500 corporations. The three most important issues facing Ohio can all be boiled down into one answer, the economy. And of course, the economy stretches out into a couple different things. It includes bringing jobs to Ohio. It includes the skyrocketing cost of health care. It includes the unaffordability of uh, education, higher education. And it includes uh, keeping Ohio beautiful so people actually want to live here for the amenities we offer. It's no secret that Governor Bob Taft and one party rule destroyed Ohio's economy and we're still suffering from it. But to improve our economy now, in 2008, 2009 and beyond, we have to refocus what we're doing here. We have to remember that new businesses, that is the businesses of the 21st century, are going to look for the three things that businesses everywhere have always looked for. They need an educated workforce to work at the jobs. They need a reliable and accessible infrastructure to move their people to work, move their products to market and communicate in a global economy. And they need a nice place to live so that people want to stay here and work. What are the three most important issues in this uh, current election? I think that the policies of the, the current administration have caused an exploding national crisis to virtually every family in the country. And I believe that, that the economy, including a responsible, timely exit from Iraq, uh, that education, and that uh, in inclusion, the equality, dealing every citizen into the mix to each citizen's fullest potential, those are the three most critical issues facing our country right now. And I, I believe we can solve them but we really need people elected who can do that. What should Ohio do to change its economy? I believe that we have a commitment from the current governor and lieutenant governor to partner with each community in Ohio and to retain what's good in the local mix and to attract what would complement business-wise, residential-wise, retail-wise, of each specific place to maximize its uh, economic development potential. What do you envision as a positive direction for Ohio education? Well, I am really excited that our current governor is committed to meeting with citizens and educators across the state and truly finding out what is the equation for a child-centered, fairly funded educational system from pre-K through graduate school and even on into research after that. How does the election relate to the citizens' needs in Cincinnati? Well, Cheryl, it's very direct. Cincinnatians open their pay envelope every week or two weeks, and what they see in there is maybe a few more cents per hour or a few more dollars per week, but they also know that that increased amount of money still isn't enough to pay for the groceries and energy and all the costs of living that are going up while their paycheck basically is, is decreasing. So the dollar amounts might be a little bit more, but they don't buy as much. So many Cincinnatians feel that very directly. It's a very basic issue. It's something they are re reminded of every payday, if they have a payday. You know, then we have a whole lot of Cincinnatians who aren't drawing any paychecks. You know, they're drawing maybe unemployment if you're still eligible. So there's an economic situation affecting this city that's very real and very direct and every Cincinnatian feels it one way or another.